Well, the knives are out for Joe Biden from the left. We're going to talk about that now. Uh, this is Reason and Company. I'm Tim Wildman with Abe Hamilton and Ed Vitagliano. Uh, Ed, the Democrats are having their debates now. As they're trying to decide who's going to be their presidential nominee. Joe Biden's been the favorite, uh, the former vice president. But now they're coming after him. Well, this is this is fairly typical that uh, the front runner is going to be targeted right. in almost I think every major poll. Joe Biden is ahead. I think the majority of Democratic voters are uncomfortable with the leftward tilt of some of the. Uh, uh, I would call it more than a tilt, but I yes. call it an avalanche. But go ahead. <laughs> okay, so they're uncomfortable with that. Joe Biden is a good, safe uh, pick. Very experienced politician. He was. The vice president under Barack Obama for eight years doesn't so, scare people. Doesn't scare people. So you're going to have to go out. You're going to have to knock him out yeah. if you want to become the nominee for the Democratic. Who's going Party. after him and why? Well, they're all, everyone's going after him. All those uh, uh, 240 um, people <laughs> running for the Democratic nomination are going after him, right. and they're going after him as not being far left enough. Right. Which is odd because right. Joe Biden is a lefty. Right. So right. they're going after him and criticizing him and, strangely enough, the president, former President Barack Obama. That leads me to that part. Uh, <laughs> by going after Biden, that is, these other presidential candidates like Kamala Harris, like Cory Booker, they're also going after President Obama. Yeah, they're inextricably tied at the hip with this. And it was interesting, Eric Holder, you know, former President Obama's attorney general, even tweeted out, uh, that he doesn't think it's too wise for Democratic candidates for the presidency to attack the legacy of Barack Obama, who was a wildly popular right. Democratic president. I think it just goes to show how quickly and how far uh, to the left the Democratic base has gone. I mean, for example, every time they mention the child separation policy, there is a, you know, a whole, the old adage, whenever you point one finger at somebody else, there's three pointed back at you. Every time the Democrat candidates mention that, there are three more fingers, four fingers pointed right back at President Obama, because that is the president who that policy was implemented underneath. So uh, it seems clear that if you're going to attack Joe Biden, you're going to have to, that they have to go against the, President Obama's legacy. And we'll see how that shakes out for them in the general election. So some of these Democrat presidential candidates, uh, pre presidential uh, contenders, are going after basically uh, Joe Biden and Barack Obama as being right wingers. <laughs> We'll see how this works out for them. We'll see you next time on Reason and Company.